Right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to uh, Rune Dreams Adventures, episode number two. Before I log in, I thought I'd better show you something. So I'm just going to load up my profile here and uh, put in my thing in my bob. And uh, this is a new interface. Uh, when you log in, it uh, tells you your level, uh, when you last logged in, how many players are online. It gives you all this uh, cheeky little information here and it gives you the latest poll. So right now, the poll is uh, whether we should move our home to Varrock or stay at Edgeville. And um, this is a really cool little interface that's just been released. I'm loving it. It's got the uh, team speak uh, link if you want to join the team speak. It's got the vote um, vote links, donor and membership links, and all this stuff. And it's it's pretty decent. And I just thought I'd share all that with you because I think it's pretty cool how uh, this has been incorporated into the game. So let's log in. Now, as you can see down here, it says Nobleman. Um, basically, the um, new game modes were released uh, the, for the XP rates. So there's one times, which is legendary. There's ten times, which is Nobleman, which I switched to, and um, the rest of them I think are the same. So uh, let's. Uh, I've already seen my stats, but uh, as you can see, I'm 80, back down to 81 per year now. But let's take a look. So, 76 attack, 85 hit points, 77 mining, 90 strength, 77 agility, 78 smithing. Uh, well, I keep doing this, you can see for yourselves. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do as you can see. I need to get back up to um, 80 engineering uh, to be able to wear my rapier, unfortunately. But uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is the uh, new 10x uh, XP mode. Uh, the bank is still the same, you know, not a lot has been uh, changed. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're, uh, we're, I don't think we can wear Torva just yet, so we're going to have to... Um, actually, let me let me double check if we can, because I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be 75 for Torva. I'm not entirely sure. No, it's 80, so... Um, I'm going to have to uh, wear something else for the time being, I'm thinking, can I wear Vestas? Let me have a look, where is my Vestas? Uh, there it is. So uh, let me see if I can wear the Vestas. I need 78 to wear Vestas, so I need another couple of levels. But uh, no worries, we can wear uh, we can wear our Barrows armor, we've got a load of Barrows pieces. Uh, don't have any barrel, unfortunately. But what we will do, we'll get the Torag's legs, and we'll get... Do I have a fighter torso? I must do. Yeah, I've got definitely got a fighter torso. I've got fucking eight of the things. We'll get a uh, Helm of Nezinot. Uh, what else should we grab? Um, can't wear the Divine, I shouldn't think. Uh, we'll get these, these. Um, uh, B-Ring, obviously. Uh, the boots we can wear. And uh, what weapon should we have? Uh, what have we got? I can't find any of my weapons. Is it in here? I think my whip. My whip is in here. Uh, so we're gonna have to gonna have to use the whip for the time being, um, unless we can buy uh, something else. But I doubt we will. Uh, can I wear the divine? I'm pretty sure I can't. I can. Oh, okay, I can wear the divine. So this is gonna be my uh, new look for the time being. Before, while I train up, it's. You know, it's a bit of a downgrade, but not too fussed. But anyway, enough rambling for uh, the time being. I think I'm just going to go train. I'm probably going to get a Slayer task or something and just train up my stats a bit more. Uh, I'll probably get to about 80. Actually, let's um, let's do it together. We'll go have a look at the um, XP rates. So let's go to training teleports. We'll go to Rock Crabs. Probably the ideal place for this sort of thing. And let's have a look at the uh, XP sort of XP rates on uh, Nobleman. So we'll go to uh, we'll go to Lash, and let's just attack something. Okay, so wow. Okay, so it's fairly slow, but it's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. So it's, this is ten times the uh, RS XP rate. So you know, I'm not. I think it's all right. Alright, so we're about to hit 78 defense on the, um, uh, the Nobleman, uh, Nobleman game mode, which means we can wear our Vestas now, so I'm gonna, uh, gonna tally home, grab the Vestas out of the bank, and then we can wear that from now on. 
I'm going to get to 80 uh, attack fairly soon, and then um, I'll obviously have to get my Dungeoneering back up uh, to get to uh, 80, so I can wear the um, thing my bob, the rapier. But for now, I think we look pretty beast at the uh, level 112 with full Vesta, uh, Divine, B-Ring, you know. We're looking pretty good, so um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to chain up my stats a bit more. Right, so I thought it was about time I spent some of my cash, so I'm going to buy, uh, I think it's 300 Frost Dragon Bones. Uh, something like that, get my prayer up a little bit. I don't know how many levels uh, 300 will do, but uh, I may just save them up, you know. So that's it, 300 Frost Dragon Bones, pretty happy with this purchase. And um, I'm just, I'm probably going to use them all now, uh, see, what level I, uh, see what level I get to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, reset the uh, XP counter, uh, access the bank, get all of these out, uh, well as many as I can uh, carry of course, and use them all on here at once, um, how much, oh 352 k XP, so um, once I've used every single bone I'll, um, I'll come back and show you uh, what sort of uh, XP I got for 300. Alright, so out of 300 we got uh, 7 million and 7,071 XP, which is pretty decent. Uh, cost me 120 mil, got to 91 prayer, not that far off. Um, well, considering my XP rate, I am quite far off of um, 92, but at least we have... Oh, we don't even have soul split. Damn. Okay. Never mind, but uh, I don't regret the purchase. I'm... Uh, Probably gonna buy some more if anyone's selling any. Okay, so I've just finished my Slayer task. I had about 140 Greater Demons or something like that. I got to 80 attack and close to uh, 79 defense, which is nice. Probably fairly close to, okay, I'm quite a bit away from a uh, strength level. But I did get to uh, 94 prayer. Um, I did that off camera, I didn't record that. And I've got a couple of range levels as well, and yeah, it's going pretty well. I've got um, collected a bunch of uh, mid-level uh, herb pouches so I can uh, get my herb lore level up uh, when the time comes. I've actually got, how many have I got now? I must have loads. I've got 37. So right now, I think I'm probably just going to grab another Slayer task, see what I get. Get Slayer assignment, go for a hard task. 18 Steel Dragons, okay, so I have a DFS in the bank, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I think Steel Dragons are on the Donor Island, I'm not too sure. Uh, it might be Steel or Iron Dragons that aren't there. I don't know, I'll soon find out, but um, hopefully, uh, let me, what's, oh no, I won't get to 95 Prey with the bones I get, unfortunately, but um, yeah, I've been trying, uh, trying to buy some more uh, Frost Dragon Bones at the minute. I just really want to get to 95 Prayer as quickly as I can. I can't afford, like, 600, almost a 1,000, but um, no one seems to be selling them at the minute, which is unfortunate. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with this Slayer task. Uh, I don't think there's any further updates I need to I need to tell you all about. Uh, 74 Slayer, I don't think... Oh, I'm close to a Slayer level, close to 75 Slayer, but... Uh, well, I probably won't get it in this next task, but um, anyway, I'm gonna crack on. There's actually no way. It took me like five minutes to kill one dragon, and I get a visage on my first drop. Like, I'm not complaining, but what the fuck? Wow. So, um, D legs and a D plate skirt in the same kill, and it was the kill after. Pretty, uh, pretty good. Sorry if I sound like a retard right now, I'm actually halfway through eating a fucking digestive biscuit. But anyway, next clip. Okay, to, so shout out to uh, Dom Matrix right now, he's actually giving me a free VLS, so I really appreciate that. So um, I've actually got a uh, better weapon to train with now, which is pretty dope. So once again, shout out to uh, Dom Matrix, thank you very much bro, I really appreciate that sort of thing. Uh, of course, um, as per normal, I'm not going to take insane donations on this server, like, you know, the odd, like, I don't know, 50 mil, well, I'm, you know what, you don't have to donate to anything to me, but if you really want to and you want a shout out or anything like that, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so I opened all my her pouches and um, 
How many did I have? Like 30 or something? I got quite a few herbs out of it, so I'm pretty pleased with that. 128 um, irids I got and a bunch of second berries. But I've actually realised, um, I'm kind of lagging a bit at the minute, I'm not sure why. Uh, Sober has these lag spikes every now and then, but they soon pass. I have 3,645 loyalty points, so I think this is the loyal bit. Yeah, this is. I can buy. Is it combat supplies? Yeah, I can buy my Ring of Wealth, which is pretty beast. I'm happy with that, so I can start bossing now. Um, I am going to work uh, in two hours, so I probably won't start uh, just yet. I'll probably just, I don't know, do some skilling for a bit. Uh, how far? Okay, I've just got a herbal or level. I might do some um, woodcutting and fletching uh, and some other stuff. I'm not too sure. I don't really want to do anything, um, any of these skills at the minute, so I might. Uh, feeling's kind of long as well. I might just try and buy some bones so I can get myself to 99 prayer. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, so I got to 96 prayer from 400 frost dragon bones I bought for 160 mil. And so close to 97, so that's probably going to be my first 99 on the account. Well. Technically my like 30th, but not really. Anyway, I have a clue scroll. Um, hopefully there's a clue scroll guide on the forums because I don't know where to go to do this. So hopefully there is one on the uh, on the forums, and if there is, I will be doing this clue scroll right now. Okay, so my first clue was to talk to Chief Beef Robin. Here's a challenge for you. Uh, is it another clue? Okay, what is 19 to the power of 3? Um, Jesus Christ. So, but hang on a minute, where do you write your answer? Like, what is 19 to the power of 3? Um, like, where do you, where do you write it? Do you just like 6, 8, 5, 9? Do you just... <laughs> where do you write your answer? I don't understand. Um, read? Uh, how? I don't under What? How do I answer this? Please explain. Oh, so you just talk to the guy again, and then, um, then you put in your, then you put in your answer. Did I answer that right? No, oh, I guess not. Literally, it's not. It won't let me answer. Like I know that the answer is right, so I've just checked it on Google. Six, eight, five, nine, and then enter. And it doesn't do shit. I'm very confused. Do I use the clue scroll on him? Like, what am I supposed to do here? What is nineteen to the power of three? Six thousand eight hundred and fifty-nine. What? Okay, so I re-logged and then uh, typed in my answer and it uh, gave and it worked. So I've been given another clue. Someone is watching the fights near Jewel Arena. Is your next destination? Some oh, was someone watching. Okay, so I need to go to the Jewel Arena. Um, mini games, Jewel Arena. Oh, I need to f I need to buy it. I haven't bought it yet. Oh wait, it took it out of my money pouch, I guess. Yeah, okay, sweet. So, we need to... I guess we need to climb up on those uh, balcony things and find someone um, that's watching the fights. So, that's gonna take a while to find the right person. Because normally, uh, on other servers, there's loads of people up here. But I guess they've... Um, maybe they've only put one person up here for the sake of the clue scrolls. But, um... I'm just gonna find this guy. Okay, so it was the first person I bumped into, which is Jeed. Um, I don't know if those, if there's any other people. Probably not. So, oh, so coordinates. Um, I hope that's on the uh, forums because I'm kind of useless with this. Okay, so I know where the spot is, but these dragons are probably gonna attack. Oh god, this is not good. Uh, I think the spot's here actually. <laughs> You must kill the wizard. What wizard? Oh, fuck. This is not good. Um, I'm just going to have to try and avoid... And I can't attack it because of the fucking dragons. 
Oh wait, oh no, oh fuck. This is, this is tragic. What am I supposed to do in this sort of situation? I have no food, I've got fucking a VLF and a fucking top cape. Maybe once I've killed this one, that one will kind of like fuck off. I'm hoping that's the case. Please don't be aggressive and attack me. Right, attack this. Okay, cool. So let's just uh, spec this thing out. Let's just get this over and done with. Kill it. Really? Hit a four? Come on. Let's do some damage. Right, as soon as we kill this thing, I hope, I'm hope i hoping it will be the reward. Um, if there's one more, if there's a couple more steps, I wouldn't mind to be honest because it uh, gives me knowledge of uh, Blue Scrolls for the future. So it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be all that bad, but I'm hoping it's the reward, and I'm hoping I get some beast. So if we could just uh, if we could just kill this guy, okay, perfect. And do I do I look now? Okay, so wait, that's the same place. Okay, now I have to dig. Okay, and dig, and I found a casket. So beast. Let's just, um, I'm just gonna run home, I'm not gonna pick up the D-bones even though I could probably use them. Um, yeah. Okay, so here we are in the mage bank, all safe. Let's see what we're gonna get. Another, really? Seriously? I was, oh my god, I, I, I was expecting that to be the... Normally when you get a casket, surely that means, oh, it's loot time, but I guess not. So, um, I don't know where that is, so hopefully it's on forum somewhere. So, in all honesty, I'm just going to leave this glue scroll for later. I'll probably ask someone if, um, you know, they can give me a hand with it, and um, I'll just get it done a lot quicker. But for now, uh, as you can see, I have a corrupt dragon mace, degraded. I don't know how something can be corrupt and degraded at the same time, but it is. I'm gonna go kill some revs. Um, I've seen a lot of people getting uh, quite a lot of drops from them recently. They're all corrupt items, which uh, is unfortunate. But um, at the off chance that I get a non-corrupt one, that would be absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna gear up. Um, I'm not gonna uh, bring like beast gear. I'll probably just bring a Guthan set so I can heal off them at the same time. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we get any drops. You don't know how tempting it is just to kill this guy right now. You don't know how tempting it is. I'm just gonna. I'm, I might just try it. In all honesty, I might just try it. We're gonna overload and shit. Um, I have got turmoil now as well, which is pretty beast. Why can't I? Cannot drink this here. Okay. No regrets. No vengeance either. No F keys. Where are my F keys? Oh, there they are. RIP! <laughs> RIP! A 54! Come on! Come on! Beast! Come on! Let's do some- Ah, oh, didn't bring a switch. Didn't bring a switch. Oh, you muppet. Oh well. Let's go, uh, let's go kill some revs. Right, so call me a noob, but I've never seen a corrupt dragon longsword that's blue before. Or am I, am I being a complete idiot? Or... Should that be red, like the same as the dragon spear? I don't know, but um, I've decided I'm just gonna uh, collect all the corrupt items I get and just like store them in the bank and maybe out them one day if they out for anything. That is, but it'll be. Um, I think it's quite a cool collection to have uh, a load of corrupt dragon items. I think it'll be pretty cool. So we're gonna see um, how many we can collect on our road to getting maxed, which will be uh, it's quite interesting to find out. So uh, it started now. Corrupt dragon spear, corrupt dragon longsword, and a corrupt dragon mace in the bank. So I'm just gonna see how many I can collect. Okay, so there's our first drop. Uh, corrupt Zuri's Zuriel staff and a bunch of these. Um, what are they called? Uh, PVP artifacts, which I believe you can um, trade into some guy at home, and it gives you PVP points. I think. But uh, corrupt your staff, that's not too bad. Um, it would be cool if there was a way to fix all these items, like make them, uh, oh, look, and that thing as well. Yeah, it would be cool if there was a way to fix all these items. Um, but I suppose it's not too bad if you want to make like a pure, um, with like low level defense, like you could, um, oh, that guy just got a divine Sigil from Corp, damn, grats. Um, 
I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, if you wanted to make like a low level pure with like 20 defense, I think you can wear corrupt um, PvP armor at uh, 20 defense. So that's it's quite cool if you're uh, if you're a pure, but if you're a like a main like I am, it's kind of useless, I suppose. All right, so I collected it. Oh, can't speak. Collected a bunch of these um, PvP artifacts. Um, is it Mark I talked to to trade them in? Um, doesn't look like it. Uh, trade? No, definitely wouldn't be it. So who do I go to to? Um, there must be a guy you can go to to trade these in. There is on almost every server. That's the donor guy. Um, there must not be anyone to trade these in with. That sucks, man. Damn, what a shame. So what do you do? Just like sell them? How much are they? 75k. 18k. 93k. Wow, this sucks. At least the corrupt weapons are worth a little bit. Uh, how much is that? Uh, not much. Uh, there should be a guide to trade these in with. You know, PvP artifacts. Like, when you... It's on every server. Why do I need to explain this? Like, on every server, there's a guy where you, his name is normally like Mandrith or some shit like that. And you talk to him and you say, I'd like to trade in my PvP artifacts. And you get like PvP points for them. But I guess not on here. Maybe because they're so, they're such a frequent drop that they kind of like just took it out. I'm not sure, but um, I'll collect them. None of this, just like the uh, corrupt weapons. In fact, we'll, do, we'll make a tab dedicated to it. But um, that's a shame that there isn't a guy. Um, I could swear there is. I, I seem to remember there being one. Maybe I'm being an idiot. But um, yeah, it's actually uh, almost nine o'clock, and I have to go to well, I have to be at work at ten. So um, I'm gonna jump off until uh, tomorrow morning. Um, I'm doing some weird shifts. I start at ten and finish at like seven. So um, yeah, I won't be on for a little bit. Um, but once I'm back, I'm going to um, I'll continue, and I've also I'm also going to be making a uh, video on Gamble PS. Uh, that's going to be a server spotlight video, I believe. But it will probably already be up by the time you've listened to this. I don't know. I don't plan that far ahead in the future. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be back in like ten hours or something. But for you, it will be too. Okay, so this is currently uh, the tab, well, collections tab, I guess you could say. I've got a corrupt Vesta's chain body, uh, corrupt Zerial staff, and a corrupt Statius Warhammer. And a bunch of these um, PvP artifacts. And some degraded dragon as well, which is uh, nice. I think they look quite cool. Um, degraded and just corrupt, regular corrupt ones. But. Um, yeah, the tab's coming along quite nicely. I'm liking the looks of it already. Um, moved my potions and food over to one uh, tab, so it's just a little bit easier. And then my main tab is just like um, things I can grab uh, grab quickly, so like the berserker rings and everything. So uh, yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically an update. Um, last clip, I do believe I said I was about to leave for work. That was um, that was like. So long ago now that was oh, I can't even remember how long ago that was, but um yes yeah, the next day um at eight o'clock but um yeah I'm done killing all revs for the time being uh, not sure what I'm gonna go do now to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna fix my uh actually I'm not gonna bother fixing the barrows. Um I might go do some bandos, I'm not sure. Uh, I do wanna do a boss but I just don't know what one I want to do. Um I'm gonna I wonder if there's a drop table on the forums. Uh, have a look at the drop table, see what um, see what's worth doing. But um, yeah, once I've decided what I'm going to be doing, um, you'll all know about it. All right, so I've decided to carry on with my clue scroll. I actually uh, found a more in-depth guide on the forums. So uh, this is apparently the spot I am to dig at, um, according to the guide. Okay, so we found a casket. Hopefully this is the loot this time. Another clue, man. Damn, these are really long. So this is an anagram, so... Um, I'm not too sure. I, honestly, I'm kind of useless with anagrams. So I'm just going to um, 
resort to looking at the guide once again. Okay, so apparently for the next clue I am to talk to this mysterious old man. So here's a challenge for you. Let's see what it is. How many known boards have red patches on their uniforms? And then you talk to him again. And then I think you just go six. I forgot how I answered it last time. Oh. Oh yeah, I have to uh, have to relog before I answer. That's how I did it last time. Because uh, it doesn't. It, no matter how many times I tried to put in the answer, it would not work. So I just relogged and then um, and then answered his question again. So go six. Okay, yeah. and then he gives me the uh, the next clue. So uh, let's have a look. Uh, come to the evil ledge. You you know you want to and. Try not to get stung. So I'm guessing this is something to do with uh, yew trees. Um, so we'll have to we'll have to find out what it is. Okay, so conveniently enough, it's uh, right at home, just where these Edgeville uh, Edgeville yew trees are. And I think the spot is here. So we're gonna dig, and we found a casket. Please be the reward. This is worse than the grand or clues like fucking 11 steps and I got like a fucking I'm not even gonna go into detail another clue okay all right um okay I know where this guy is I just need to teleport to the um, skilling uh, skilling place look at my little bandos pet right there beast right and we talk to you and is it gonna see be the same one same uh, yeah it is it's so it's uh, the same um, uh, question for each different NPC, there's not different questions. I'm guessing it's all the same one, uh, depending on what NPC you uh, are tasked to uh, talk with. So I'm just going to re-log. Okay, so yeah, another clue. Um, Alright, that's someone to speak to. Okay, so for that one we just speak to Zarf at the uh, home area, so it gives you a challenge. Um, three plus two. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna relog. I don't think I'm gonna need a calculator for this one. Um, although if I get it wrong on camera, I'm I'm just gonna fucking kill myself. But anyway, three plus two is six. Joking. Thank you. This is the right answer. Another clue. Um, I've had this one already. I think. Isn't that the mysterious old man? I think it is. I'm fairly certain it's the mysterious old man. So if we talk to him, yeah, it was. Um, it gives you another challenge. Uh, I think the answer was six for this one, so we'll relog once again. I'm not sure if you have to relog after um, every like step kind of thing, but. It wouldn't let me do it the other time, so relogging just um, kind of solves that problem. So if we go six, that's the right answer. Oh, and here is my reward. Okay, so what's our reward going to be? Hopefully it's something nice. Uh, okay, Bandoff's robe top. Um, I guess that's okay. Uh, the rest of the reward isn't great. Um, yeah, not really. 14 body runes. I don't even know what body runes are used for anymore. Um, but the Bandos robe top uh, won't complain. Um, I'm not sure how much it is. I'm not sure if people even buy it. But it can go in the um, fashionscape tab as well as my Bandos pet. And uh, yeah, so that was the that was the clue scroll. Uh, I don't know how many steps it was. I think it was it was quite a few. Must have been about 15, I'd say. But, um, yeah, not bad. Um, I'd like to know what uh, the best loot you can get out of one is. Uh, it'd be quite interesting to know. I'm probably just going to do Bandos, to be perfectly honest, because it's like the easiest boss that I know uh, besides KBD, but I don't really want to do that. There's nothing it drops that interests me. Um, could do Corp, but uh, I'm not very good at Corp. Uh, so we're just going to do Bandos. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's any people here at the minute, although um, I only see one minion and uh, no boss. 
So we're gonna uh, gonna pray and stuff. Uh, head on in, and there's still only one minion. Um, I'm not sure why, but if I get any drops, um, sure I'll be alerting you all if I remember to record in time. Okay, so it's a bit late right now, so um, I'm gonna be doing some skilling for a bit. I'm not sure what skills I'm gonna be uh, be doing. Probably some fishing and cooking. Um, I want to get everything up to um, 80 fairly soon. Um, agility is going to be very tedious, but um, I'll probably work on that um, just for like however many hours it's going to take, or minutes. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get um, three levels on this XP rate. I shouldn't imagine it's too fast, but um, yeah, I'm going to get everything up to 80 um, by uh, what, uh, probably by June. Uh, it's the 23rd of May today, um, but uh, yeah, Hunter is going to be an asshole to do and so is farming and obviously dungeoneering, I need to do it with people, but um, nevertheless I'm probably just going to go do some fishing and cooking like I said, um, not too sure um, if I'm going to be doing any other skills, I'll probably do herb lore as well, get that up to 80, I've probably got the herbs banked to get to 80 herb lore, oh what's going on here? Oops. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I've probably got the herbs bank to get to 80 um, herb law, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm going to need to ask someone to help me with farming because I'm not very good at it. So, yeah, um, that's all for now. Okay, so you're probably looking at my bank thinking, um, where do all these logs come from? Um, I've actually just been chopping the uh, evil tree with a bunch of other people. Got to 92 woodcutting actually from uh, 88, so that's pretty cool. And what I didn't realise is once you've um, completely chopped it all, uh, an NPC appears and um, you uh, you interact with him. And for the amount of um, kinglings, I think they're called, you've collected from the evil tree, uh, he gives you a, uh, a reward. Um, uh, equaling to the amount that you've given him, so uh, I got from I think it was 1,000 ish. I got uh, 400 willow logs, um, all these u logs, um, all these magic logs, um, 20k XP. I think it was probably a bit more, and uh, 1.4 mil cash. So what I've decided to do is um, I'm gonna gather 5,000. Uh, of the uh, branch things that uh, you collect from him, and then um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what kind of reward you can get from it, and um, see if it's worth it or not. So that'll be uh, be interesting for you guys if you uh, if you're curious. So I'm gonna get started on that right now. Okay, so I've decided to come to pest control for a bit. I got to 95 woodcutting in the end and um, collected 1,000 of those branch things. I'll do a bit more later, but I don't really feel like doing it now because it's pretty boring. But uh, I'm gonna get the uh, four void set um, now. I think I just need two helms. I think that's all I need, and then I'll have the full set. But um, it's actually quite rare for me to find people to do pest control with, so I'm very grateful for everyone that uh, came. So, once I've got full void, I'll probably... I don't know. I don't know what I'll be doing, to be perfectly honest, but um, I'm sure I'll think of something. So, Jord here is actually giving me a free pair of steadfast boots. He says, um, thank you for helping the server out with the uh, videos, and of course... Uh, this isn't. This is not why I why I make videos. I make videos for your guys' entertainment, not for the free stuff. But um, I really appreciate this kind of thing. Um, first, I got the free VLS, and now the pair of steads. And I just want to let you guys know that I really do appreciate every single donation that I get, no matter how big or small. And I just want you all to know that I will continue to make vids uh, simply for your guys' entertainment. I don't do it for free stuff, I don't do it for the money, I don't do it for anything, I just do it for your guys' entertainment, so thank you so much for supporting me, and um, yeah, roll on the next clip. Right, so I am fucking exhausted right now, so I'm gonna get some sleep, I've uh, just been doing a little bit of fletching for a bit, um, got to 85, um, 
Let's take a look at my stats for a minute. You'll see the progress we got in this episode. So, well, I, the episode isn't finished yet, but so far we're doing pretty well. Um, got some fishing and cooking levels, some combat levels, and 95 wood kind, which is pretty beast. But um, yeah, you can probably tell by my voice I'm extremely tired, so I'm just going to uh, go to bed right now. So um. I'll see you in about two seconds. Okay, so I have an update. Yeah, in my inventory are six, uh, not six, 3,600 donor tokens and a stimulus package. I uh, actually just bought um, a bronze, uh, bronze status. Is it? I'm not. I'm not sure what it's called. I forgot. But um. I've got these donor tokens, and I'm going to go home and spend them, because I want to. Not much of a step update, unfortunately. I haven't really done much. Um, just been on Gamble PS for a bit. Uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to trade this guy. Let's trade this guy. So we've got uh, 3,600. Um, we're going we're gonna to get mystery boxes, of course. And um, what, else can I, what else should I get? Nothing really worth, uh, worth getting here. Um, Black P hat. Hmm, I really don't have enough of that. Uh, anything else? I'm just trying to, uh, trying to get a bit more flavour in my bank, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything I should get. Um, I mean, I could get some vine whips, but there's really no need. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just spend the rest on mystery boxes. <laughs> it's just, uh, just the way to go, in my opinion. So um, let's open these. Let's, uh, let's open these up. I'm gonna do this live. So, uh, oh, and we're starting off strong right off the bat. We've got a uh, Vertus mask, which is beast. Okay, next one. What I really want is that gold P hat. So an Aram set, a red star for light, um, fire cape, a Torex set. Yeah. Um, what else are we gonna get? Come on, let's get that. Um, <laughs> let's get that gold pea hat. And that fishing, nah, not fishing, magic brawlers. 550 purple sweets. Come on, I need a rare. Don't just give me one rare, give me like two rares. I'll be happy if I have two rares out of this. More bolt racks, okay, not what we want. More brawlers, again, not what we want. Oh, that's good, that's good. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Um, Woodcone Brawlers, come on, give me something nice, come on, D-Boots, D-Boots again, give me a rare, oh, it's going to be Savage, and Tiger Sharks, that's my reaction to that, anyway, we did get a Virtus Mask, so, you know, not bad, but, um, not what I was hoping, to be honest. So let's just bank all this. Oh, I banked everything I was wearing as well. And um, let's grab our stimulus package. So um, I'm not too sure how this works. Obviously, this is my first uh, first time uh, donating for something like this. So, okay, guys. So I have got the golden party hat, which is pretty beast, you know. Um, I swapped it for my stimulus package. Uh, I've got the golden pea hat now, which is pretty beast, so um, my bank's gone up considerably. But um, yeah, we got a lot done this episode, and I really enjoyed it. And I'm actually going to end it off here. Uh, I'm going to actually, no. No, I'll finish off my clue scroll first, so I'm going to go do that, and then I'm going to end the episode. Right, so I'm in deep wilderness, and I've just found a casket. Lovely. Another clue. God. These clues are really long, and more coordinates. I don't like coordinate clues, to be honest. They just annoy me. Okay, so that was um, quite a long clue scroll. Um, yeah, we did. that was like 16 steps or something. But um, hopefully the reward is worth it. So let's have a look.
Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching uh, my second um, Rune Dreams Adventures video. I really am, um, can't speak once again, I really am enjoying this server, it is great fun and I highly suggest you join because it's got tons of content. You know, we may have a small community, um, only 25 on at the minute, um, but it is really good fun. Um, I do really enjoy it, everyone gets along with everyone and I couldn't ask for a more uh, a friendlier community or a better server to be perfectly honest. This is one of my, uh, one of my favourites. But anyway, drop a like if you enjoyed, uh, make sure you leave a comment and yeah. I'm close to, actually by the time I've uploaded this, I'll probably already have 350 subscribers. But um, yeah, thank you for the continuous support and whatnot, um, obviously more content will be out soon. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one guys, peace.